thank you. We come saying thank you this morning. Whether you're here physically or whether you're here virtually, anybody brought there, thank you this morning. We come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies, God. Thank you, God. But this is your air that we breathe, God. We come saying thank you. God, before we ask you for anything, we come saying thank you for everything, God. Thank you for every way that you're making, God. Thank you for every door that you're opening. Thank you for being the lover of our soul, God. Thank you, God, this morning for not giving us what we deserve, God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, your unmerited favor, God. This morning, God, we come lifting up our voices to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for, for what you're doing, God. Thank you, Jesus, for every way that you're making, God. You deserve our thank you this morning, God. We come bringing our manners this morning saying thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for how you're saving and healing, God. This morning, somebody says, thank you, God. Anybody brought their thank you this morning? If you're here virtually, go ahead and drop it in the chat. This morning, God, we say thank you. Thank you for loving us with an everlasting love, God. Thank you for your blood that washes. Thank you for your blood that cleanses God. Thank you for allowing us to be clothed in our right mind this morning. Thank you God for somebody did not wake up this morning God. But we come to say thank you Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God we thank you this morning. Every time I think about something that he's doing, something that he's done, I got to say thank you. And when we think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done, our souls cry out hallelujah. And this morning we come seeking you, God. This morning we come reaching for you, God. We ask this morning, God, that you would fall in this room like rain, God. God, that you would settle our hearts, that you would settle our minds, God, that you would release your spirit here this morning, God. We thank you for the, the anointing of God that makes preaching and teaching easy. God, we thank you for the delivering power that's going to hit this building this morning. Father, we declare breakthrough here. Father, we declare deliverance here, God, in the name of Jesus. We pull on your mighty king. We pull on your mighty God. This morning, God, we ask that you would come in the room and fill this house with your glory. We ask that you would come in the room and fill this house with your glory. Let your glory hit the house this morning. I declare now an open heaven over this house. I declare now an open heaven over this house. Open up heaven and pour out here. Open up heaven and pour out here. Right now, God, we ask that you would do it, God. Only that, you, only what you can do, God. We ask that you would pour out this morning in the name of Jesus. We bind every distraction now in the name of Jesus. We pull off everything that's on the minds of your people, God. Anything that we're trying to hinder our praise, anything that we're trying to hinder our worship, we break it now. Lion of Judah, break chains this morning. Lion of Judah, stop by the room. Lion of Judah, roar here. Lion of Judah, roar here in the name of Jesus. Throw your weight around this morning, God, and have your way. Throw your weight around this morning and have your way. Somebody needs you. Somebody says, I need a touch from you. Somebody says, I need a word from you. One touch, one word from you that can change everything. We declare breakthrough this morning here, God, in the name of Jesus. We declare healing here, God, in the name of Jesus. Get in the atmosphere and break up everything that's not like you. Get in the atmosphere and break up everything that's like you. We call on you. Fire of the Holy Ghost fall here. Fire of the Holy Ghost fall here. Holy Ghost fire fall in the house this morning. We say yes this morning. We say yes this morning. We say yes to your word. We say yes to your ways. We say yes to your instruction this morning. Whatever it is that you want to do, we yield ourselves to you this morning. We yield ourselves to you this morning. Come on, let's pull on him. Let's pull on him. Let's pull on him. Let's pull on him. We pull on you this morning, God. Have your way. Have your way here, God. Have your way here, God. In the name of Jesus, stop by the room. Stop by the room. Stop by the room. Stop by the room. Somebody's desperate. Somebody's hurting. Somebody's broken. And we know that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask of him according to the power that work is in us. So work, work here, Holy Ghost. Work here, Holy Ghost. Anybody need them this morning, reach up and grab them. Work here, them. Work here this morning. Move on your people. Move on your people. Father, we lift up apostles as he prepared to teach them the word. We, we lift up the man of God now, God. And we pray now that he would stand flat foot 
it. Deliver the word under the Holy Ghost power. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the way we walked in, we won't walk out. We declare that when we start walking in, we won't feel walking out. Break through in the people. In the name of Jesus, we break the heaviness now. The heaviness on the hearts of your people. The heaviness on the minds of your people. We command it to break now. Father, you said whatever we loose on earth, that you will loose in heaven. Father, we said you said whatever we bind on earth, that you will bind it in heaven. Come on, get that thing on your mind and demand it to go. Break chains. Break chains. Break chains. Break chains. We need it this morning. Come on, come on, come on. We didn't come to spectate. Come on, pull on them. 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 We expect the move. We expect the move of God. We believe a move of God. Love here. Fall here. Speak here. Heal here. Save here. Deliver here. Change. Change. Change us by the washing of your word. Wash us in your word this morning. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fall here. Holy Spirit, fall here. We declare fire. We declare fire. We declare fire here. Let the fire of God, let the fire of God, let the fire of God fall here. Fall here. Fire of God, fall here. We declare it now. We need the fire that burns up everything that's not like you. Let your consuming fire burn up everything that's not like you. Burn it up. 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 We need it. 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 Hey, stop by the room. Stop by the room. Stop by the room. Come in, God, and have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Come on, I dare you to lift your hands and ask him to have his way. I dare you to lift your hands and ask him if you prepare a place, he will come. Come in the room. Come in the room. We ask you to come in the room. Come in the room. Hey, stop by. Stop by. Stop by. Stop by here. We break up everything that's not like you. We break up everything that's not like you. What's not like you, we break it up here now. What's not like you, we come against it now. Oh my God, when the enemy pushes, we come pushing back. And this morning, and this morning, we declare your glory. We declare your power. We declare your healing. We declare it. Anybody come declaring something this morning? Anybody come declaring something this morning? I dare you to declare. Declare that he's holy. Declare that he's mighty. Declare that he's holy. Declare it. We declare it. We declare it. We declare it. We declare it. You're holy. You're mighty. You're holy. You're mighty. You're holy. You're mighty. You're holy. You're mighty. The angels cry and call you holy. We duplicate the same thing this morning. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. Anybody know them to be holy? We know them to be holy. We know them to be mighty. We know them to be a strong tower. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run in and we find safety there. I don't know what you came looking for this morning. I don't know what you came looking for this morning, but the King of Glory is in the room. I don't know what you came, I don't know what you came looking for this morning. Is there anybody that said, I'm desperate? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Before there's any praise and worship, before there's any word, we ought to saturate this house. Before anything, the prayer is, prayer is always in order. Come on, before anything else, let's set the house in order. Let's set the house in order. Let's set our hearts in order. Let's set our minds in order. Come on, God, work on us, change us on the inside, God. Oh my God, a few more seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pray this company for the upright. Pray this company for the upright. I don't know what you walked in here with, but I challenge you to give God a praise. That's what you feel. 
I don't know what you walked in here carrying, but I challenge you to give God praise, Pastor. Come on and praise your God over your circumstances. We praise God. We praise God from a deep well. We get, come on, come on, come on. We praise Him from a deep place. We praise Him from a deep place. Without a mute, without a keyboard, without a drum, without a bass, we don't need music to give our God glory. We come to bless Him. We come to bless Him. We come to bless Him. Now, is there anybody that said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes, we have things on our mind, but I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So now that you're here, I challenge you to pull on God. We're not going to wait. 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 Come on, there's a praise that you have to release this morning. There's a worship that you have to release this morning. And again, God, we ask all these things in the only name that's able to do it. And again, God, we ask all these things in the matchless and the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So do me a favor. As we're saying hallelujah and amen, I need you to shout unto God. I need you to let God know that I'm, my prayer is not predicated on the worship team. My prayer is not predicated on the band. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. And shout unto your God. Come on, come on. Come on. Ha hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. Y'all real quiet this morning. Come on, stand to your feet. Sometimes you got to push yeah. people where they need to be. Come on, stand over the building. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your hands. Come on, you probably ain't thank. You haven't told him thank you this morning. Come on, lift your hands. Oh. Bring your mind in. Bring your mind in. Oh. Bring your oh. spirit oh. in. Come on, bring it in. Come on, we come here but for one purpose, and that's to lift up the name. Whoa. Lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands, open your mouth, and begin to speak well of your God. Tell him he's good. You're mighty. You're holy. You're sovereign. You're great. You're majestic. You're just. You're sovereign. You're kind. You're loyal. Waymaker. Promise keeper. Kinsman redeemer. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. We lift your name, Jesus. We lift your name, Jesus. Come on, clap him. Come on, clap him. Like the devil is between your hands. Clap him. Come on, the Bible says he teaches our hands to war and our fingers to fight. Come on, he teaches our hands to war and our fingers to fight. So clap your hands all ye people. Y'all, stop that music. Stop that music, it's real cute. But I came here to give God praise. Come on. If you got another agenda, the dog it works the same way the way you came in here. Because when you woke up this morning, don't get beside yourself and think you woke yourself up. But it was the grace and the mercies of God. The Bible declares it's because of your grace and your mercy that we are not consumed. Your compassions are new and they fail not. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, because he's been good to me, I owe him this. Come on now, open up your mouth and praise him. Don't do it because I asked you. Do it because you love him. Oh, the temperature is changing now. Don't do it because I asked you. Do it because you love him. Come on, praise him. Let's lead by example. Give him glory. Open your mouth. Celebrate his goodness. Pour out your praise on him. He didn't have to wake you. He didn't have to keep you. He didn't have to keep your children. He didn't have to keep your mind, but all to be kept by Jesus. Come on, shout in this room. All right, we gonna sing, because I know that's what y'all want us to do. But the Bible says, he inhabits the praises of his people. That means he comes in and sits down wherever he hears a hallelujah, wherever he hears a thank you, Jesus. He invades the space. One more time, give him glory. <laughs> Come on, last time, give him glory. Glory, 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 glory. All right. Maybe it's just me, but I feel real good in my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's, it's so good. All right, let's, let's just start the song. I don't want to offend nobody with my praise, but the Bible, the Bible tells me that praise is calmly for the upright. When you try to live your best to 
to please and love Jesus, praise just comes out your belly. Uh, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go with it. I feel, I feel the Holy Ghost turning in here. I feel it moving. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, whatever's on your back, God's about to put it under your feet. Whatever's on your back, he's about to put it under your feet. I feel it turning around in here for somebody. I don't know who you are. <laughs> All right. He's about to turn it around. That ought to make you pray. He's about to turn it. Turn, 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 turn. Come on, let's sing this song. Because I feel the Holy Ghost working on me. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and ask him to send his fire. We need revival. We want revival. We want praise. Come on. We want it to come. We got to go ahead and move to this song because I feel like dancing and I don't want to scare nobody. Come on, put your hands together. Clap your hands. Come on, start that trap. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Come on. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself to keep going. I don't... Come on, clap those hands. There, right there. there you go. Here we go. Sing fire. Fire. Come on. Fire. Six star a new revival. Fire. Fall on now just clap your hands. Everybody clap. Come on. Hey. We're gonna do it again. Wanna make sure you got it. Come on. Clap, 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 clap. Come on. Can we do it again? You got it now. Here we go. See fire, fire. We are here crying out. We are here crying out on one accord. Let the heaven. Let the heaven touch the earth. Come and light. Come and light our passion. passion in our and Lord, let it burn. You got the chorus.
start a new revival. Start a new revival. Yeah. Yeah. spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy young men shall see visions and old men shall dream dreams we're asking god this morning just like he did it before we need to see an encore this morning come on tell him we need you to do it again jesus do it again jesus oh yeah just like Oh, 
ready to fall down? We can't make it if you don't stop by here. We need you to lead and guide us. It's the Holy Ghost that leads us in all truth. Come on, lift your hands and tell him, fall on me. Endow me with more power of Jesus. You shall receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You shall receive power. One more time, say, fall on us. your hands all over the room. We need the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift your hands and worship him. Come on, you're too quiet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Send your spirit, Jesus. Send your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit, God. We need you. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Change our lives, God. Change how we view you. We need the more of you, Jesus. We need the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your voice. Come on, say something to him. Come on. Come on. I can tell you don't do it at home because it's hard for you to do it in church. Come on. Lift your voice. Lift your hands. Come on. Give him something sweet. Come on. Come on, you know what you came here for. Come on, lift him. Lift him. Still he speaks from eternity. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him. 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 Until he answers your questions. Lift him. Until he invades your space. Lift him. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost and fire, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, surely you got five more minutes in you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's why you can't get a breakthrough. You don't know how to tear it. Come on, come on. Open your, come on, come on. That's it. I don't want to fuss at you, but come on. We got to go deeper, 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 deeper. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, come on. I'm a coach you this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Lift him, lift him. Lift him, lift him, lift him. Lift him. Come on, lift him. We worship the Alpha and the Omega. Come on. Father, we worship you for who you are, not for what you've done, for keeping our mind. For keeping our souls. Come on, we worship you. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, worship. Come on, that's it, that's it. Come on. We worship you. You are Alpha.
worship you today, God. You're so deserving. Oh, my Lord, yeah. Yes, you are. You're worthy of every thank you, Jesus. Every hallelujah, it belongs to you. Come on, say, we give you. of who you are. Because of who you are, we extend our hearts. We lift our voices. We lift our hands. We Glory, Jesus. Yes, we humble ourselves and worship you, Jesus. You are, you are, you are worthy. Come on. Join in together one more time. Lift your voices, everybody. We
just think it's a song, but I need you to declare in the, in the room that overflow is coming to my house. Come on. Come on, speak it, speak it. Speak it, speak it. And whatever the enemy, whatever the Prince of Persia has been holding up in heaven, we release it now. We release it now. Stop shaking. We bind up every blockage. We bind up the blockage. We bind up the... We bind up the block. When I heard an abundance of overflow, I also heard our shepherd's name. I need every person in this room, if you ain't got faith, don't do it. But stretch your hand to our leaders. Because just like the oil flows from the top of the head, down the beard, what God does for them, He's going to do it for us. Look at your neighbor and tell him, if God does it for our leaders, he's obligated to do it for Now, I need you to grab all your faith. All your faith. If you never believe God for nothing else, when we cover the, the head, God blesses us automatically. Now, I just need you with all your strength. Shout, overflow. Again, say, overflow. Say abundance, more than enough. I heard the Lord say just now that every vision, every plan that's in your spirit, connect church, we got 30 days to get behind it. You hear me? We got 30 days to get behind the vision. Watch this, and if we don't get behind it, God will move us out of the way because nothing you can do can stop the plan of God. I don't care how much you don't like them. I don't care how much they didn't call you. I don't care how much you talk about them. The glory that's hanging over their lives is yes and amen. And because it's over their life, I need you to put your hand on the top of your head. selfish but this one belongs to our leaders God didn't send them away just to sleep and rest God sent them away to revive them for vision and it's our hands that make the vision come to pass so on the count of three I'm not giving you instructions on how to praise God but whatever you gave him this morning, don't do that one. I need you to reach down in your soul. If it's a holler, if it's a walk around, we're going to intercede for our leaders. Because one thing I know, that when God increases the leader, attacks come. Demons come. But I heard the Lord say, the devil's already defeated. Just, okay, okay. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to shout favor with the city. One, two, three. Favor with the city. I don't know what that means. One more time. Shout favor with the city. Favor. One more time. Favor with the city. Woo. Now, I got to sit down because I can hear him real clear. The Lord said, He's given Connect Church a place in government. He's given us a place in government. We ain't going to ask for it. We're going to take our rightful place. Now, on the count of three, we're going to give God a praise. However you do it, I don't care. But we need to release a sound and a praise that will get heaven's attention and seal what heaven has spoken. One. One more time, and we ain't gonna hide behind that. 
I told you when we came in, whatever's on your back, God's about to put it under your feet. He's about to put it under there. So once we praise God for them, we're going to take time out to praise God for you. On the count of three, give it to them. You don't need no music. One, two, three, give it to Jesus. Sustain it. Travail. Intercede. Worship. Call him. Come on. I just heard investors. I don't, I don't know. Investors. Investors. In, investors. 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 They're coming. If you keep shouting, they're going to come. The grant writing. If you keep shouting. If you keep shouting. A seat on the city council. If you keep shouting. Favor with the contractors. Favor with the bank. Come on, shout. Now this time, I want you to give God praise that whatever you've been praising God for, since you believe God for your leaders and your covering, that whatever God has promised you that you've been expecting, he's about to release it. Come on, tell your neighbor, God is about to release everything he's spoken over your life. Tell him, it shall come to pass. One more time, say, it shall come to pass. It shall not tarry. It shall not die. But it will come to pass. Now open your presence oh God we thank you for the move that is already taking place in this morning oh God we thank you for the shift in this atmosphere on this morning oh God we just thank you for who you are Jesus we thank you for who you are God thank you thank you thank you thank you I don't know about you but I just have a thank you thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for keeping my mind. Thank you, oh God, for keeping my mind. Thank you, oh God, for keeping our families, oh God. We thank you for keeping our leaders, oh God. We thank you for keeping our leaders, oh God. We owe you the thanks this morning. We owe you the thanks this morning. We owe you the thanks this morning because it, it was nobody else but you. It was nobody else but you, oh God. So we just thank you. We just thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Connect Church Plano. Unapologetically known as Connect Church Global. 
For those of you who do not know me, my name is Desiree, and I'm one of the leaders here at this great, amazing church. And it is my honor and my privilege to welcome you on this morning here to one of the greatest churches in the region, Connect Church Plano. Whether you are joining us here physically or online, thank you so much, because you could have been anywhere else, but you'll be right here in the presence of the Lord. So thank you. Give yourselves a hand clap for that. Thank you for just joining us. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome. We have a saying here at Connect Church Plano where the first time you're a guest, the second time you're family. So welcome to the family, all my first time guests. I do have a few announcements as to what's going on here at Connect Church Plano, and I will not be before you long. But those of my entrepreneurs, raise your hand if you're in our entrepreneurs group chat. Listen, if you do not know, our apostle is a man of entrepreneurship and starting every Monday from now on, starting tomorrow, every Monday, make sure... Uh, you grab his book from Prophets, Prophecy to Prophets. Grab the book. If you do not have it, it's in the foyer. Grab it. Because, listen, our entrepreneur group chat, they started a book club. They started a book club, and they're walking through Apostles' book. So make sure you join them tomorrow, Monday at 7 p.m. The link will be dropped in that entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur's group chat. So make sure you're in the app and get in that group so you can get the link to be a part of that discussion on tomorrow. Listen, next week is Father's Day. And listen, our men have special things planned, so it's going to be a service by all the men next Sunday, the 18th. So make sure you come in with your father, bring somebody who just means so much to you, whether it's a father or a brother, somebody who's a, who's a father in, in your life. Uh, bring them, because it's going to be a jam-packed weekend. The word will be brought by our apostle. We have the men going to be coming and praying. The men will be doing the announcements. The men will be serving. So listen, just come in on next Sunday and join us for Father's Day. Um, with that taking place, all my gyms, all my homegirl sister friends, we will not be meeting on next weekend as the men will be having something planned on that Saturday. So we will not have gyms. Make sure you stay tuned in the app to figure out when our next meetup will be. And same with my parents for our Yielded Youth Group. They will not be meeting on, ne on next Sunday, but they'll be meeting the following Sunday, June 25th. So make sure you bring them then. June 25th at 5.05. That will be our next Yielded Youth Meetup. And then make sure you join us on Wednesday for midweek Bible study. Listen, if you have not been with us, you have been missing out on a lot of great nuggets. We've been walking through the book of 1 Timothy, and we just finished chapter 1. So if you know, we have homework to read chapter 2 and come with an open mind on Wednesday um, at 7.15 p.m., we'll be opening up in prayer and going into such a great discussion led by our very own apostle. And for anything else here going on at Connect Church Plano, make sure you download the app. It is so easy to find. It's in iTunes, Amazon, Roku, Google Play. It's CC Global. Make sure you download the app. Create a profile so you don't miss anything going on here at Connect Church Plano. Thank you. Amen. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. We're believing God to do something extraordinary today. Amen. Can we thank God for the worship team and what they have done thus far? We're believing God for truly a next dimension anointing to hit this house today. I want to uh, just just drop this uh, in the room because I, I really came to church today expecting uh, for the next dimension of glory that what God did on last week was for last week. But what he's going to do today is for this week. Amen. Uh, but in order for that to take place, uh, we got to get the faith up in the room. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him you got to get your faith up in the room. Uh, the scripture that God dropped in my spirit, the amplified version of Mark, Matthew chapter 13, 58, it says, uh, and he did not do many works of power there because of their unbelief their lack of faith in the divine mission of Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but I have survived some mental anxiety this week. Can I get a witness in the room today? Uh, that this week has been an attack against the mind. Amen. Come on, talk to me today. Anybody else been there this week, an attack against the mind, and you got yourself to the house of God. Now, let me say this to you. Don't play with it. Now that you're here, somebody shout, now that I'm here, 
I'm going to get what I came for. Come on, come on. Now, you got to believe that by faith today. Amen. Now that you're here, you're going to get what you came for. Amen. The enemy wanted to take you out in your mind. Glory to God. But on today, you're going to receive the strength necessary to do your assignment this week. All it takes is faith. Somebody shout, all it takes is faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for and it is the evidence of things not seen. All we need is faith in the room. Somebody shout all we need is faith in the room. When faith shows up, power shows up. Amen. Somebody say that when faith shows up, power shows up. Amen. Now, now I'm, I'm, I need somebody to get that in your spirit. Now, it don't take a whole lot of people for God to move. He said, if I can get two or three people gathered together in my name, that it will be there, I will be in their midst. He says, he inhabit the praises of his people. Now, some of you all want to go into the inner court, and you're still in the outer court, and the only way to get into the inner court is through praise. Praise is the standard for citizens in the kingdom of God. It's your way in. You can't go into glory without praise. And some of us are in the room acting like God has not been good to us. Some of us are in the room acting like we woke up on our own account. Some of us are in the room acting like we're doing God a favor because we're here. Some of us are in the room with something else on our mind. But listen, I came to the house of God not to play with it, not to deal with any demons and devils. I came to get glory today so I can take it back to my house, take it back to my job, take it back to my marriage, take it back to my business, take it back to my family, take it back to this city, take it back to the region, take it back to my city block, take it back to the county. Is there anybody in this room today? Somebody shout, I need glory. Come on, I don't need a whole lot of people. I just need a few people. Is there anybody else in the room who will agree with the preacher and shout, I need glory. Come on, I need glory. I need glory. If you don't pay another bill, I need glory. If you don't open another door, I need glory. If you don't move another thing out of the way, I need glory. If you don't add anything else to my life, I want the glory of God. I want the weight of God. I want the heaviness of God. I want the Shekinah glory. The glory that's evidence. The glory that causes demons and devils to back up. Is there anybody else in this room who will shout, I want glory? If you want glory, I dare you to get up off your feet and put your hands together and give God, I want a glory praise. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta, we just gotta push a little bit more. We're going over this morning. We're going over this morning. We're going into the supernatural. Praise is calmly for the upright. The Bible says, let everything. Everybody shout that, let everything. Now look at your neighbor and say, that includes you. Come on, let everything that has breath. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Come on, just to check because we're just trying to figure out who he's talking to. The Bible says that everything that has breath, breathe in, breathe out, which means he's talking to you. You are a candidate for praise. That if all of the hell that you have gone through and all of the things that you have survived, I dare you to sit up in this room and act like God has not been good to you. Because when the devil thought it was over, Jesus stepped in and made a way out of no way. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Jesus, somebody shout, I made it. Therefore, I'm going to give God the praise. Come on and put your hands together and give God praise uh, if you are thankful for what God uh, has done in your life. Come on, church. Come on. Come on. Just press just a little bit. I know where we got to go today. I know we're going somewhere today. We're going to the next level today. We're going to the next dimension today. And I believe that what God has in store, it includes you. It includes you. Somebody shout, it includes me. Lift your hands all over this room. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you reset the minds of your people. Some of us are in this room broken. Some of us clothe ourselves with tears flowing down our faces. Some of us came to the room today with a loved one on our minds. Somebody came in with a circumstance, a diagnosis, a issue, a matter on their mind. But Lord, for the next 60 minutes or so in this service, I pray that you said, let this mind be in me, which was also in Christ Jesus. Lord, you said, come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and you would give me rest. So, Father, we transfer the burden right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, where the enemy wants to get us blocked in our minds, we arrest this atmosphere the, by, by the power and the influence of the Holy Ghost. And we ask, God, that you bring your people to a place in the Spirit that they would begin to receive what it is you have for them in this moment. We pray for the neighbor. We pray for every person that's under the sound of my voice. Every person in this room needs a specific designated word. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, you give your people the word they need to go out and do what it is that they have been called to do. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Come on and put your hands together if you believe that. Amen. You may take your seat in the presence of the Lord this morning. Help me thank God for my beautiful bride of 17 amazing years. She's in the house. Thank you all for your prayers this week and uh, concern for us. We are a whole lot better today. Praise the Lord. I feel good today, and I believe there is a word from God. I want to thank God for every person that made their way to the house of God. Why don't you give yourself a hand for making it to the house of God today, amen? With all that you're up against, amen, the enemy couldn't stop or block what it is that he wants to do in your life. I do want to pin a thought uh, that on next Sunday is Father's Day. Everybody shout, it's Father's Day. And we want every brother, every man to make his way to the house of the Lord. There is a specific word for the man on this coming Sunday. Now, some of you may be mad at your father. Amen. It got quiet in the room. Some of you may be upset with your dad because he was an absentee father. But amen. We have a father of the fatherless. Praise the Lord. And his name is Alpha and Omega. We know him as Jehovah Jireh. And so for those of you who your father may not be in your physical life, you can still make it out to the house of God. And let's celebrate the God of the Bible on next Sunday. Amen. And so we're going to make next Sunday a spectacular moment of celebration as we celebrate manhood and fathers, citizens in the kingdom of God. Can we give it up for all of the fellas, all of the men, all of the fathers? Amen. Truth be told, not all of us are in the club. Not all of us are out there in the streets. Not all of us are doing other things. But there are, there is a remnant of men who are in the house. Can you give God praise for the men of this house? Amen. That can't, come on, come on. Thank God. Amen. That we have men in this house. And so I want you to press your way to church on next Sunday. Uh, I promise you there is going to be a word that will bless the entire house, but we want to celebrate the Father on next Sunday. Amen. And so please make your way out this coming Sunday uh, as we celebrate Father's Day. Amen. I know the time is well spent, but I want to take a moment uh, before we transition in teaching, and I want to take a moment to receive uh, the Lord's offering. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to be praying for my pastor and his wife. Uh, they are currently on vacation, which they don't get to do often. Let's thank God for them. Amen. And so they're on a five or seven day cruise right now somewhere in and out of the country. But the day of going out on their cruise, his wife got news that her brother passed away. Um, and I'm going to ask you all to be praying for them because they've experienced a lot of death over the last seven to ten days. 
Uh, we've had several families, even within the fellowship, suffer loss in their family. And so what I'm going to ask you to do, if you can, in your time of prayer, that while they're on vacation, please lift Bishop Sherman Allen and co-pastor Otanya Allen in your prayers. Can y'all do that for me? Amen. That's my pastor. We love them. And he's our spirit, your spiritual grandfather. Amen. So can y'all pray for them uh, and, and as they make their safe arrival uh, back to the States after to their time of vacation and then today is their wedding anniversary I believe 15 to 18 years of marriage uh, on today um, and so if you know them just text them or say something nice about them on Facebook amen but let's celebrate amen my pastor and don't tell me who you're over until you tell me who you're under uh, and I'm a man who is submitted under authority and I even have a pastor amen Let's go ahead and prepare our hearts to give. We want to do that. Of course, in this church, we believe in honoring the Lord and giving. It's the only way for ministry to take place. It's the only way for us to do what it is that we have been called to do as a church. All of us, as we're, if we're citizens in the kingdom of God, we understand our kingdom responsibility. And that is to support whatever God is involved in. Amen. And Jesus is the bride of the church. Somebody shout, Jesus is the bride of the church. Amen. And so we want to support what Jesus gave his life for, and that is the church. Amen. If God has been good to you on any level, really the question is not if. We know God has been good to all of us. We also recognize, amen, there's one in the room who agrees with that. Uh, we all recognize in the room that uh, many of us are dealing with financial calamity, financial concerns, but it does not cancel out our assignment to trust God. Somebody shout, I still got to trust God. Say it again, I still got to trust God. Amen. And so we honor God in our giving and the best place for your, your faith to be tested is when you honor God even when it doesn't make financial sense. Amen. So I want to challenge you today. We want to celebrate our first group of individuals and that's going to be our tithers. If you're going to be tithing today, can you stand to your feet so we can celebrate God for you if this is a week for you to tithe? Come on, there's one. Come on, come on. Is there any others? There's two. Come on. Let's thank God. Come on. We celebrate our tithers. These are individuals who believe the responsibility of partnering with God, with giving God the first part of their increase, which we believe starts at the 10%. The Bible says, bring all of the tithe into the house of God that there might be meat in the house of God. And this is our opportunity to trust God in our giving. And the way we do that, and the reason why we do that is so that we can make sure that there is meat in the house, that the house of God is sustained. Anytime God wants to get something done through the earth, he does it through a person. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men, which means that God is going to use somebody to execute his assignment in the earth. I was talking to someone this week and um, the, the, a friend of mine, his wife, the Lord told her uh, to send someone a cash app. It was roughly... 200 or so dollars, Derek. And she called her husband. She says, listen, there's a young lady that um, want, that we need to send $200 to. Now, what's interesting is uh, the, the person that I'm referring to did not know the person she was sending the money to. She just called her husband and said, listen, the person that you're getting ready to meet up with for business, God just spoke to me and told me to tell you to send her some money. And so he's like, all right, I'll get it done. And, and the day went on and he forgot it. Well, the Lord quickened in her spirit the next day that he did not do it. So she said, hey, did you send the money that the Lord told me to send the person that you met with on yesterday? So he says, oh, shucks, I forgot. Well, he ends up texting the person saying, hey, send me your cash app. Now, once again, they really don't know each other. This is their first meetup or whatever the case may be. She sends him the cash app. He sends her a certain amount of money. The person responds back and says, I know that there is a God. She says, because the exact amount you sent me was the exact amount I had been asking God to send for a bill that I needed to take care of. Y'all miss what I just said. Anytime God wants to execute his purpose in the earth, he needs somebody who will obey. 
And had he not obeyed God, he would have not been the answer she had been waiting on. What am I trying to say? Anytime God wants to get something done in the earth and through the realm of the spirit, he needs people who is postured in a way to respond to his instruction. Amen, somebody. So when we come to the house of God, we're responding to the instructions of God by saying, I am going to do what God is asking me to do. And they encouraged that young lady. She had been praying and asking God. And God raised up somebody who did not know her to send her exactly what she... Let me just prophesy to somebody and tell you God is about to put you on somebody's mind this week. All right. That's... Just, I'm going to say it again. God is going to put you on somebody's mind this week. Somebody's going to reach out to you saying, I need your business services. Somebody's going to reach out to you saying, hey, send me your sale. Send me your cash. I serve a God who is omniscient. He's sovereign. The very hairs on my head is numbered. He says, no good thing will he withhold from those who love him and i don't know what's been on hold but i just decree and declare by the name of jesus that the hold is being lifted in jesus name and i believe that when he called me to tell me about it i believe that that same word applied to me that God is raising up somebody to bless me praise God that as I sow and they're givers as I sow and as I trust God God is going to put me on somebody's mind somebody shout he's put me on somebody's mind come on come on come on he put me on somebody's mind come on you got to say that in faith though come on you got to say that in faith you got to believe that that's possible he's putting me on somebody's mind amen so I want you to give right now I want you to give every tithe or every tithe of those of you who are watching online. We celebrate you. Now, if you say, Pastor, this is not a week for me to tithe, but I want to support. This is where you can get a free will offering. A free will offering is basically an amount of any size that says, God, thank you. And everybody in this room ought to stand with a thank you seed. Amen. Everybody in this room ought to stand with a thank you seed. And so I want you to get an offering in your hand of any amount. And I want you to release the amount that God is asking you to release. Every person can participate in this part of the service where we can say, God, thank you. If you need an offering envelope, we can get you served. Oh, hallelujah. And we're just going to decree the will of God. And there are those of you who say, Pastor, I want to show a supernatural seed. I believe the difference between an offering is a thank you but a seed sets the course of the next season amen that a seed can cancel reverse reroute and adjust the coming season that you're going into and so that's what a seed does for you but every person ought to be showing something in this service right now whereby you can tell the Lord thank you glory to God hallelujah yes Lord yes Lord Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You got your seed in your hand. Somebody said, I got my seed in my hand. All right, lift it as high as you can. Father, we thank you right now. Oh, God, for the church, we thank you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, for every person that is sowing in this house, that is investing in the furtherance of this mission of Connect Church, we believe that you have called us to be the body of Jesus' disciples where people from all walks of life can come discover God, find community, and embrace their purpose. Now, Lord, in order for that to take place, we know that it takes finances. It takes willing vessels. And, Lord, I believe there are people who are represented all over this room who are willing to invest in what you're involved in. And so, Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus, Lord, you back up their prayer requests in the name of Jesus, that as they sow a financial amount, but God, you're, you're going to cause them to reap spiritual things. I thank you, Lord God, that in the name of Jesus, supernatural debt cancellation will be their portion, that you're causing men to rise up and call them blessed in Jesus' name. I believe that this seed, God, is going to set the course for the week to come in the name of Jesus, that there will be no lack, there will be no insufficiency, there will be not enough, but Father, they're going to move into the season of overflow in Jesus name that as they release their seed in faith knowing God it is better to give than it is to receive I decree it to be so in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray that the church shout amen if you believe that shout I receive 
Amen. Come on, let's continue to worship and then we'll get to the word. to keep believing God, tell your neighbor, keep the faith and keep believing God. Come on, tell them. Come on, tell them. Increase your faith and keep believing God. You know this one. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Oh, he's gonna fulfill yeah, every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up. Here we go. Say he is able. He is able. Clap your hands all over the room and let's celebrate his faithfulness. Oh, and say he is able. He is able. Yes, he is. 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 Here we go. Say God.
too busy. He's an old time God. He's an old time God. Say yeah. 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 We tell God yeah. Come on, let's take it out. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So don't give up on God. You've been praying and hoping. Seeking and praying, oh, 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 don't give up on God. We come to remind you, oh, everybody say, don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Thank you for giving us the word that will shift our lives and take us to the next place in you. Now, Lord, we come against every distraction, every sound interference, anything that would hinder the power of this service flowing in the direction in which you desire it. Lord, give us minds to hear, eyes to see, prepare our hearts to receive what it is you want to do today. Your word has declared that he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, I'm ready for the word. Listen, I want you to do me a favor before you take your seat. Can you find someone you didn't ride in the car with? Love on them. Tell them it's good to see you this morning. Come on. Come on. Leave your seat. Leave your seat. If you ride, rode with them in the car, that's not who I want you to greet. Amen. Find someone you didn't ride with. Amen. Tell them it's so, so good to see you. Good to see you this morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord. 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 So good to see you today. Amen. Amen. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, Elder. Elder, I'm getting feedback. Thank you, sir. Come on. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord hallelujah. Amen. It's mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to get to the word of the Lord in just a few moments. I'm going to ask my daughter, Crystal, to come for a second. You asked me to do something for you. You thought I forgot about it. Uh, I believe that every person should have a physical Bible, and I wanted to present you your first Bible. Amen. Today, got your name on it. Amen. Uh, one of the things I like to do in this church, if I'm your pastor and you don't have a physical Bible, if you let me know, I will make sure you get one. Uh, because I believe that every person should have the physical word of God in their hand. Amen. And so if you're someone, you don't have your own Bible, I believe in using Bible apps and the global app and uh, the internet and all this kind of stuff. The Bible gateway, whatever search engine you use to 
we search the scriptures, but you ought to be able to turn the pages of your own physical Bible. Um, and if you do not have one, I would love uh, I would love the honor and privilege of getting you one and presenting it to you. Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter number four. I don't have much monitor, um, so Acts chapter number four. Acts chapter number four. I don't believe God will work it out. Amen. By the time I get through this message, Acts chapter number four. I've got one verse for you today. Uh, for those of you who are with us for the first time, you're trying to make sense of this setup. This is really a setup for last week. I'm sorry to inform you, but I do not have tuna fish sandwiches today. Uh, so you're just going to have to roll with being hungry, all right? <laughs> if you missed last Sunday, that doesn't make sense to you, but very illustrative mes message. Uh, but how many know Pentecost is the church's birthday? Everybody shout it. Pentecost is the church's birthday. And so I believe that we are in the season of Pentecost. There are seasons where the Spirit of God moves stronger than others. And I believe that that season is upon us right now. Amen. Um, and so I believe that as I preach this word today, that the power of God uh, will even move in a more demonstrative way. I'm going to be in verse number 13 of Acts chapter number 4. Verse number 13 of Acts chapter number 4. And it, you find these words. Uh, if you can give me monitor, turn the house down. It says, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, common men, they were astonished and recognized that they had been with Jesus. I'm going to read that verse once again for your hearing because I really want you uh, to really take this word personal because I believe that what God did for Peter, God is going to do through you. It says, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, uncommon men, somebody shout, God is going to use uncommon men. Uh, it says, uneducated, common men, they were astonished and they recognized that they had been with Jesus. This morning for the balance of minutes we have together, uh, of course, I think the writing is clearly on the wall based on last week's message. I want to talk from this subject, the next move of God. Everybody shout, the next move of God. Why don't you make that personal and say, I am the next move of God. Come on, come on, say that again. I've been, anybody been reminiscing on that this week, man? That thing had hit me like a ton of bricks on last week. And I just, I just feel that we're going to go in an overflow of that in today's service. Just make that personal and shout, I am the next move of God. You may take your seat uh, this morning. Allow me a brief moment to uh, reset this conversation based on last week's teaching discussion uh, by reiterating a specific point that took place at the towards the end of last week's message. I said something around this thought. Many of us have been saved long enough to have boldness, but truthfully speaking, we've become spiritual cowards who relegate our impact to the settings we feel accepted in. It is important for us to understand that what's next in our life requires more glory. Everybody shout more glory, more, glory. more power, and more focus. Why don't you say that with me? What's next in my life requires more glory, more power, and more focus. Let's say it once again. More glory, more power, and more focus. How absolutely necessary we must understand the presence of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. It is not possible for us to promote the glory of God or bless the souls of men without the power of the Holy Ghost. This morning, I want every person in this room or even in the digital sanctuary to comprehend the fact that you are what's next. All right, I, 
I, I, I'm going to say it once again. I need every person in this room tired and frustrated, a lot on your mind. I need you to hear me say that God brought you to 2200 Los Rios Boulevard for you to hear this word that you are what's next. You're not waiting on what's next. You are what's next. Somebody shout, I'm what's next. Come on. Come on. You're the next greatest thing that is about to happen in the earth realm because you're about to ascertain and comprehend who you are in the kingdom of God. Somebody shout, I am what's next. Come hell or high water, you will get to the point and the place in which God wants you to be. Somebody shout, I am what's next. How you know what's next is that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible says that he will lift the standard against him and that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. And the way you know that you're next is when all hell breaks loose for no reason, no rhyme. You can't put your finger on it. You can't understand it. This is always an indication that the glory of the Lord is about to release, be released upon your life in supernatural realms. Somebody shout, I am what's next. To properly comprehend this, you and I must accept what, accept what the apostle John the Baptist said in John chapter number 7, verse 38. If you don't mind, turn there with me real quickly. John chapter number 7, verse number 38. I'm going to teach a little bit. I'm going to preach a little bit. But I just decree and declare that in the name of Jesus uh, that you're going to get your word today and everything concerning you has shifted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just decree and declare that when you leave the house of God today, you're not going to be the same. All right, I'm going to just keep speaking those things that be not as though they were. I decree and declare that by the conclusion of this service, you're going to walk out of here with more glory, more power, more focus, more anointing, more understanding. You're going to know whose you are in the kingdom of God. You're not going to walk out of here frustrated. You're not going to walk out of here in low self-esteem. You're not going to walk out of here in depression. You're not going to walk out of here sick. You're not going to walk out of here broke. You're not going to walk out of here broken. You're not going to walk out of here upset. You're not going to walk out of here confused. You're not going to walk out of here with a lot on your mind that when you get this Bible today, you're going to walk out of here knowing one thing is for sure. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God has in store for his people. Somebody shout, I am what's next. I am what's next. John chapter number 7. It is in uh, the John chapter 7. It is in verse number 38. You find these words. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. This is important. I need you to catch the weight of what John is trying to communicate. That word river is not talking about a quiet river. It's not talking about a subtle river. If you look that word river up in the, 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 the Greek text, it literally means a flood. It means a tsunami. It means an overabundance. And I just, oh, God, help me today. It, 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 it's not a quiet situation. No, that's some on you that's going to come up from the inside and manifest on the outside. Lord, help me today. I'm just trying to get you to tap into what you already got. You're not waiting on a move. You are the move. It's already happening on the inside of you. You just got to believe that the deposit has already taken place. So that word river, it means a flood. It means an overabundance. And one of the things we must understand is wherever you and I go, we carry the river of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to say that again. Wherever you and I go, we carry the river of the Holy Ghost. Some of you may be under it. What's the difference between the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit? There's no difference between the two. The language changed over the years. They started saying Holy Spirit because as the English language increased, the word ghost kind of inferred something scary or spooky, but there's nothing different between the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. It's the same description. It's just a difference in English translation. Did we get that out of the way? All right, so somebody shout, I carry the Holy Ghost within us. And that river is just waiting to flow out towards others. But here's the reality. 
Many believers, many Christians, Christ followers are not experiencing the life-giving effects of the Holy Spirit's power simply because we're too afraid to jump in the river. We're too afraid to jump in the river. Uh, we, we just came back from the Dominican Republic. I'm going to keep preaching on it for a little while because I got a whole lot of messages out of it. But we got on a, a, a speedboat on our way, and we booked this excursion or whatever the case may be. And they says, listen, we're going to get in the speedboat, and the speedboat is going to take us right, right in the center of the Atlantic, and we're going to jump in. I said, who jumping in? We black. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, no, 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 that ain't what, that ain't what black people do. So, so, so I got on the speedboat. You know, I was excited about the view, but I told myself I wasn't jumping in. Some of y'all come to church excited about what could happen, but you never jump in. Y'all ain't going to talk back to me. And so, so we got on the speedboat. And, 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 and people got their life jackets on. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm taking views and cameras and all kind of stuff. Oh, look at the scenery. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. We on a boat, but I ain't jumping in. So I'm going to just take in the view. I just don't want the experience. And the reason I don't want the experience because I'm afraid that I can't handle the water. I'm afraid I can't handle where they're going to drop me. So I says, I would rather stay in the boat and watch others jump in. So, 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 the, so, the, so the guy got us to the middle of the Atlantic. And the closer we got out the price, I noticed other people having a good time in the water. I said, these people are out their everlasting mind. How are they swimming in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? The guy who is doing the excursion, he says, we, we discovered a section of the Atlantic that, that's, that's, that's deep enough for you to handle. He says, uh, I promise you, you won't drown in this area. of." The I said, nah, doc, you can't tell me. That ain't what I read about the Atlantic. I done seen the Atlantic. He says, no, I promise you, it's a view that is awestruck. 